What's happening guys and welcome back to another episode of City Skylines. In today's episode we're going to be trying to work out why the traffic is all the way here to all the way over here. Let's get into it. Right, so let's get to it. I've been having a little look around and you probably can see a few changes to what I've got set up here. Now off camera I've been having a little bit of a tinker trying to get things working but all it's done is create this ginormous traffic jam all the way basically to the other side of the map. Now the issue I believe has got to be somewhere around here where I've been tinkering. So you might remember the straight cross junction that I had here. I've turned it into what we kind of have in the UK, like a roundabout with exits on and off, which then lead to, you know, the city. That's fine. Um, I can see right off the bat that people are stopping here. So let's open traffic manager and let's have a little look to see what's going on so we've got a crossing enabled on all of those we'll stop that we don't want that happening so let's check all of these just to make sure and as you can see here the like continue across the junction button isn't checked there so what we're going to do is enable that and that should now cause everyone to just keep flowing around so we'll go through and make sure all of these are done now generally you don't want through traffic to be able to come straight onto the roundabout you want them to give way but uh, if your junction's not having too much traffic then by all means whack it in there with this being an on-ramp at some point, it's probably going to have quite a lot of traffic coming up it, so we're going to leave it as it is. Let's just make sure that one's done, that one's done, and that one's done. So that's all of them finished. Let's have a look down here. We've also got crossings enabled here, and these haven't been done either on our new roundabout, so let's pop these all in. So crossings, crossing, crossings. Oh, uh, switched on the lane changing there. Let's disable that as well. And over here as well, we want to be like that. Is that all of them? Yes. Right, let's go to the um, priority. And if you hold shift and click, that will set the whole thing to priority on the inside of roundabout and give way on the outside. And we should be able to do that on this one as well. And that should now make this into one full roundabout. What I might do is just change this to a two lane. Maybe this will help. I don't know. It might actually cause more issues than it's worth. But let's have a little look. So we'll change that to a two lane, two lane, all the way up to there. Wonderful. Now we can take this, which is like the lane management tool. And we can say this lane, we only want to go into the left hand turn lane. And these two lanes can go straight on, albeit maybe left or going and continuing around the roundabout. Now we'll see how it all works out because what we might want to do is just change this lane here to just come off, but we could also just turn it to go forwards, actually, if I think about it. Now the issue with this lane is it will go straight into this node and then it will go off on this roundabout. So not many people are actually going to want to use this lane. Now that might be a good thing, it also could be a bad thing. So what we could do is if we use node manager and we can actually click or node controller, sorry, is we can click in there and we can actually create our own node or our own junction. And that gives people the ability to actually swap lanes in here. Now let's see if that actually helps ease any of the traffic because what it will do is people can use both of these lanes to actually go into this junction and then they'll choose a lane in here and head around into the 
Oh, blimey. I hadn't actually noticed how steep that is. So we're displaying all the mods in this one. So we're going to use Move It now. I'm going to select all of these, and that's clicking and holding Shift while you click. That's going to select all of these nodes. Make sure there's no nodes in the middle of any of them. Wonderful. And then what we can do from there is we can just drag one. Yeah, drag one. And that will move the whole roundabout over there. Now, we're going to have to fix some of the wonkiness, I suppose. Because that's still not really what we're looking for. Try and move these a little bit more. So uh, once again, click and shift will grab all of the nodes and then you can move them forwards. I'm having a bit of an issue with this piece of road. Ah, because it's got a node there. So what we'll do is we'll just scooch that up to there. Then go back and select all of these. Here we go, here we go, here we go. And that's all of them. We'll move that right up there. As far as it will go. And that should give us a little bit... Yeah, there we go. That looks a little bit more realistic. The issue we now have is that we've got one of these going on. So, without having those selected. Got to go underground. There we go. Right, move it mod. We're going to grab this underground pathway that I made and move it so it comes alongside the road like that. And then because this has moved, we can move that to the central part. Move this so it's nice and straight as well. And then again, we're going to move this one so it is alongside the path. And then we can go back up over ground like that and move this to let's say that corner perfect so what we now have is some underground pathways linking all of these up so pedestrians get from this side to that side and over there as well which they're using quite a lot actually that's saving quite a number of cars i would say what caused all of this to happen was every single house was like um abandoned like the whole city was abandoned because of electricity and water and now we've got everyone back in with electricity and water everyone now is trying to move back in and it's getting absolutely rammed silly now there's a huge garbage problem as well so we're going to be looking at somewhere to put the garbage facilities i'm thinking what we might want to do is just stick sank over here for now so let's pop that in. So that'll be the garbage starting to do its thing. Oh, I got an achievement. Professional dumper. Accurate, I suppose. Back to the drawing board, I suppose. Right, one last thing I can think of is using the node controller just to widen some of these junctions. So if we go into the node controller, you can see that these are red. So what we probably want to do is widen these up a little bit. Now, the issue is it doesn't really want to go. We can widen it a little bit, but it doesn't really want to do anything. So we can extend that one. That might actually benefit us a little bit. We'll straighten off the angles or the, the edges, sorry, and see where we can go with that. Holding shift, we can select nodes and line them up i'm very scared to do it in that junction because it might end up actually causing more issues than it solves we'll go back to here and widen this junction as best we can so we'll knock that back a little bit slide that one back a little bit and slide that one back a little bit and that just widens that whole thing up so hopefully people can start 
There we go. Oh, floodgates opened just for a little while. <laughs> we'll straighten off those nodes. That's fine. Let's move around onto the next one. going to widen those roundabout angles and hopefully mean that the cars can leave at a little bit more of a faster pace which will be good let's square the angles up just so it's a little bit straighter I mean it makes it look makes it look a little bit better anyway doesn't it we've buggered that angle again haven't we okay so we're having some sort of success we're just having to Make sure everything's still got everything where we want it. What I have done as well is I've replaced that highway with a dual carriage bus lane. So we might be able to push people through there a little bit better. We will soon find out. What it has meant is people were using this road a little bit more when I took it out. So I might just get rid of this road uh, like totally and see where we go with just having this road and this road and maybe have it connected up to this road and have them go through all of here. But we'll, we'll see. What I'm going to do now, just before we call it quits for here, is add in some public transport because we haven't done that yet. We haven't got a single public transport thing in here. Hot air balloons. I don't want hot air balloons. Where's my buses? I like buses. There we are. Right. So let's add a few. needs to be connected up so let's add another bus route right I'm gonna I'm gonna come back when all of the bus routes are in you kind of got a gist of what we're going for I'll catch you in a minute oh my loady loady it has taken me probably well over a span of two days this is the day after now um just tweaking and fixing things and moving through the city and changing things so I, i've lost track in everything that i've done but you will see that this junction is now clear touch wood it, it, it's gone it's it's solved itself Thankfully, I mean, you get a little bit of a build up here and there. So as you can see, it's starting to build, but it will just completely flow through once the junctions are all sorted. So we've got this roundabout here. I'm going to try and run you through all of the changes that I've made before we end the episode. Um, this is always going to be a slightly longer episode just because of the amount of changes we've made and the amount that we have to do just to fix this traffic. But we'll try and talk you through it. So, we've got this roundabout here. 
which leads into double roads which lead all the way through the middle of the city into another roundabout you'll notice uh, pedestrian pathways running all the way around our roundabouts and that's done using the automatic roundabout uh, sorry pedestrian path tool so that's over here in unified ai automatic pedestrian bridge builder and you can select star or in a roundabout i'll probably do a video showing you how to use that later but that's in and working we also have let's go back into our fancy mode there we go uh pedestrian pathways running all the way through our city so at the moment it's looking pretty poor uh, I would admit, but we've got roads and, and pedestrian pathways running all the way in little junctions where we can just kind of, oh no, there's a fire, help, ah, oh, okay, fire, fire, engines are already there. Yeah, these pedestrian pathways just ease access, allow people to walk a little bit further, oh, oh, secret, secret, keep moving, and yeah we've we've got another little roundabout here now the way i've sort of divided the traffic off here is you've got one roundabout going right and you've got one roundabout going left and that helps to just spread out the traffic and they can decide which side they want to go down instead of just choosing all of them i know it's always generally best to give people as much choice as possible but in this instance it's actually seemed to have cleared the traffic what else have we got going on we have added a, another entrance into the city just down in this little wing here so that's feeding off of this part of the motorway before you get down to here so not everyone's going down here and coming in on to the central area i think we may have already done this before but we've added one here as well and that's just feeding this little area by all of the garbage we have obviously still this bit over there that's fine now underground we have some metro yes we have got some metro we've done all the bus routes as you can see in blue so they're all in and then the green is all the metro stations so we've got a few of the sort of default ones that just stick underneath the ground you know pretty boring whatever i was trying to fit all the new ones from the uh, train stations content pack but we'll we'll have a look and do those properly at another time but we have metros in and they're easing some transport for us they're doing 428 people per week and the buses are doing 648 which is quite weird you'd have thought that the trains were going to be doing a little bit more but maybe maybe our buses are doing quite a good job and now we've cleared the traffic they're going to be doing even better because they've not got traffic jams to get stuck in i did try and put in bus lanes and stuff but it it just really wasn't working uh what else have we done what else have we done we're still to fill in some of these buildings here but we had such a traffic influx i was like i'm not touching it now uh, these buildings down here this skyline looking quite fancy uh it's just added so many people into the city all at once i think that's what has caused the traffic but we've sorted it now we've got some elder care and you will see and this is probably going to be what we're going to be doing next episode is just tidy up some of this shoreline so you'll notice here we've got one of the new keys from the bridging uh bridge and what is it bridge and is content pack there we go so we've got the new key in if i just have a look which one we've chosen it's this one here the simple sea wall and we might change it to one that can actually be walked on later but all i needed to do was get a key in so that these buildings didn't keep flooding so i've moved that all the way around there and what we'll do is in the next episode probably stretch it all the way around there and all the way around here and probably have some kind of like port in over here next to this sort of canal and have some boats ferrying people around easing that congestion even more anyway i feel like this has been a long enough episode for now what do you think yeah yeah i agree anyway we will catch each other in the next episode thank you for watching it's been a absolute pleasure 
If you've liked the content, please subscribe down below, big red button. If you have liked it, hit the like button. Let's people know that you're enjoying the content and it also makes me put a massive smile on my face. And if you wouldn't be so, uh, or if you would be so kind even, is to add a comment down below saying what I should be doing in the next episodes. That would be absolutely fantastic. Thank you for watching and I will catch you next time.